Hi, welcome to SDT University. I am Vinita Saini, Faculty of Science. Today, we will be learning about alcohol poisoning. The learning objectives of this lecture would include different types of drinking alcohols, binge drinking, stages of alcohol poisoning, fatal dose and fatal period, sign and symptoms of alcohol poisoning, post-mortem appearance, and medico-legal aspects. Alcohols comes under the category of inebriants. Inebriants are substances that include intoxication or inebriation and comprise mainly alcohols, barbiturates, benzodiazepines and chloral hydrate. So let us understand the different types of liquor and how they are made. There are nine types of liquors commonly used to drink. They are vodka, rum, gin, tequila, whiskey, bourbon, scotch, cognac and brandy. Vodka is traditionally made from potatoes but these days it's more common to see vodka made from a variety of grains such as corn, rice, rye or wheat. Rum Rum is made from sugarcane. It is the sweetest liquor of the bunch which makes it mix well with tropical or fruity type drinks such as pina colettes and strawberry diquiris. Gin Gin is made from juniper berries. It has a piney taste and is commonly mixed with tonic water. Tequila Tequila originates from Mexico and is made from the blue agave plant. Whiskey Whiskey is made from a variety of grains such as barley, corn, rye and wheat. It is aged in partially burnt oak barrels which give it its distinct brown color. Bourbon Bourbon can be considered the premium version of whiskey but with one essential requirement in addition to other whiskey making grains. It has to be made with 50% corn. Scotch Scotch originates from Scotland and must be aged in oak barrels for at least 3 years. It is well known for its pronounced smoky flavor and is commonly enjoyed by experienced drinkers. Cognac and Brandy Cognac is simply the premium version of brandy and comes from Cognac, France. Whereas brandy is made from distilleries from around the world. This table shows the different alcoholic beverages and the ethanol content percent by volume. So we can see here that light beer have 4 to 6 percent ethanol, heavy beer have 6 to 8 percent, natural wine which include 2 to 3 percent alcohol, fortified wine which include sherry and pot have 10 to 20 percent alcohol, whiskey, gin and brandy have 40 to 45 percent alcohol and the highest percentage of alcohol is found in rum that is 40 to 50 percent. Other liquors like cognac and shanaps etc include 17 to 50 percent alcohol by volume. Now come to the alcohol poisoning. Alcohol poisoning is a condition in which a toxic amount of alcohol has been consumed, usually in a short period of time. In other words, the blood alcohol content BAC is at dangerously high level. Binge drinking The consumption of an excessive amount of alcohol in a short period of time. Generally, 5 or more drinks in a row for men and 4 or more drinks for females. It may take anywhere from about 30 to 90 minutes after you stop drinking before you reach your highest level of intoxication. Now, let us discuss about the usual fatal dose and fatal period in alcohol poisoning. Logically, there is no specific fatal dose. In terms of blood alcohol, a level in excess of 400 to 500 mg per 100 ml is usually considered to be lethal. However, there is a great deal of controversy regarding this, since there are case reports of individuals succumbing to much lower blood alcohol concentration, while there have been reports of survival even with a BAC of over 1000 mg per 100 ml. Fatal dose varies from person to person. 
less in case of thin and lean person females mentally unstable subjects patients suffering from liver disease epilepsy cerebral trauma patients using barbiturates antihistamines tranquilizers hypnotic etc while the fatal dose is more in case of tolerance alcohol poisoning can be studied under three stages first one is the stage of excitement which occur when the blood alcohol concentration is 30 to 100 mg per 100 ml the symptoms include increased talkativeness increased self confidence decreased sensory perception loss of fine motor skills slowed information processing and increased sexual desire second stage is the stage of incoordination which occur when the blood alcohol concentration is 100 to 300 mg per 100 ml the symptoms include incoordination of thought speech impaired judgment confusion slurred speech staggering gait nausea vomiting dilated pupil usually criminal offenses are committed in this stage at last the stage of narcosis comes which occur when the blood alcohol concentration is more than 300 mg per 100 ml the symptoms include deep sleep rapid pulse hypothermia labored breathing contracted pupil coma and finally death autopsy features include congested conjunctivae characteristic odor in the vicinity of the mouth and nose and in the gastric contents congestion of gi tract pulmonary and cerebral edema and stigmata of chronic alcoholism may be present like fatty or cirrhotic liver cardiomyopathy and characteristic lesion in other organs now come to the chemical analysis of viscera and body fluid apart from the routine viscera and body fluid brain csf and vitreous humor should be collected and preserved for chemical analysis Blood should always be collected from a peripheral vein such as femoral vein and never directly from the heart. Caution must be exercised in interpreting the results of chemical analysis conducted on putrefying dead bodies since postmortem production of ethanol occurs in such cases due to the action of certain microorganisms. This can be result in a BAC of up to 20 to 30 mg per 100 ml even when no alcohol had been consumed at all prior to death similar erroneous results may be obtained in case of a non putrefied body in a blood sample that has not been properly preserved in all such cases the urine should be mandatorily tested and if no alcohol is detected it can be safely presumed that the bac is false due to postmortem production in the absence of urine sample bacteriological examination of blood should be carried out before interpreting the result of chemical analysis as far as urine is concerned a simple conversion factor was developed to convert urine alcohol concentration that is uac to blood alcohol concentration bac bac is equal to minus 5.6 plus 0.811 uac this formula however cannot always predict the bac accurately and is more useful in corroborating rather than predicting bac now come to the medical legal aspects let us discuss the ethanol and crime brawls assault including sexual and non sexual homicides and suicides are commonly associated with intoxication even if the assailant was so drunk that he had lost total control over his mental faculties and therefore was not in a position to judge whether his action were right or wrong he is still punishable for any criminal act committed by him under section 86 of IPC unless the alcohol was administered to him without his knowledge or against his will ethanol and traffic accident It is well known that consumption of ethanol and consequent intoxication has adverse effects on driver of a vehicle in the form of visual blurring, motor incoordination, impairment of judgment and increased reaction time. Correlation of BAC with driving impairment as follows. BAC up to 50 mg per 100 ml. Driving ability of most individuals is unaffected. though there may be slight impairment in some individuals bac 50 to 100 mg per 100 ml 
most people are affected to varying degree bac 100 to 200 mg there is severe impairment of driving ability with increased liability to accident bac over 200 mg per 100 ml there is a highly likelihood of an accident so today we covered about alcohol poisoning in our next lecture we will be learning about insecticide so keep learning keep growing see you next time